ओम स्थापकाय च धर्मस्य सर्वधर्मस्वरूपिणे अवतार वरिष्ठाय रामकृष्णाय ते नम जननी शारदा देवी रामकृष्ण जगद्गु पाद पद्मे तयो श्रुवा प्रणमा मुहुर्मुहु नम श्री यतिराजाय विवेकानंद सूरे सच्चिसुखस्वूपाय स्वामी तापहारिणे <coughs> तव कथा मृत तप्त जीवन कविरीडित कलमशापहम श्रवणमंगल श्रीमदातद बुभिगृणंदे भूरीदा जना what i was trying to organize my thoughts was on the you know japa is the supreme form of uh, you know sadhana uh, or god uh. so but if uh, we go on to the japa then prabhu is uh, very close to believing rather than seeking because then the self seeking disappears whereas in karma yoga uh, you know you have to and then comes to free will also if we are doing our uh, daily things to make an effort to then do new things then you know that free will is not there so how do we explain that that why should we do or where, where is the desire to to you know innovate or do things which which healthy man kind or do certain things no you see the point is involvement in the world <coughs> would become less and less if you get involved with god it's as simple as that see if somebody is very seriously interested in spiritual realization or goal of life or sadhana such a person cannot pay much attention to the world at all is not possible because you know every moment the impermanence of the unreality will strike him so strongly he cannot participate very difficult at all so that's why one has to proceed slowly prepare oneself or if suddenly you find that you are in a kind of no man's land you are uh, you have given up that nor here because you see in spiritual life we don't taste success so easily aur safalta sahaj mein anubhav nahi kar payenge बहुत समय लग गया उसके लिए आप बहुत दीर्घकाल दीर्घकाल निरंतर है ना अभ्यास है ना विदाउट ब्रेक इफ यू डू अभ्यास देन इट इज पॉसिबल सो इफ यू वॉन्ट क्विक फिक्स रिजल्ट इमीडिएटली नथिंग विल हैपन सो दैट इज वाई यू नो फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट मेरा जीवन का लक्ष्य क्या है कहाँ जाना है क्या मैं करना चाहता हूँ वो हम लोग एक तरह मन से निर्णय ले लिया then accordingly you start organizing your activities your life your participation everything so naturally as one definitely as one grows older it is if one is interested certainly one should reduce the other things and concentrate more on practices and sadhana etc you see hum log ye bhul jati hai aapke andar to kitni successful बिजनेसमैन है ये है बहुत है ज्योतिष भी है सोमनी हर देर एवरीथिंग वो सब करने के लिए कितना मेहनत करना पड़ता है लेकिन हम भगवान को ऐसे ही बुला के ले लेंगे वाई शुड वी थिंक लाइक दैट दैट ऑल्सो रिक्वायर मच मोर डिफिकल्ट देन सक्सेस इन वर्ल्डली एंड ऑवर सो वन हैज टू डिवोट टमेंडस अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम वन हैज टू प्रैक्टिस हार्ड परसिवियर रिलेंटलेस देन सो ऑब्वियसली सी कर्मयोगा कर्मयोगा डज नॉट मीन लॉर्ड ऑफ एंटरप्राइज एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज एंड इंडस्ट्रीज एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फॉर्थ नो कर्मयोगा इज नॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्वान्टिटेटिवली एक्सपैंडिंग डेवलपिंग इनोवेटिंग एंड ऑल थे कर्मयोगा इज क्वालिटेटिव क्वालिटी वाइज वॉट एवर वी डू आर वी डूइंग इट विद द राइट एटीट्यूड in an absolutely unselfish manner can we do it that's a test so the more you do more your purity of heart purity of your personality will happen and you will be able to more and more do the other sadhanas like yoga <coughs> meditation etc most of us cannot meditate cannot do japa and all that in a real sense you may sit also 
Why? Because the mind is impure. Mind is cluttered with so many other thoughts, other uh, distractions and so on. So Swamiji says the best way to clear all that is through intense Karma Yoga. Usme kya hai? See, Thakur also gives the example very beautifully in a different way. He says, supposing you want to remove the thorn which is, uh, which is struck in your foot, you bring another sharp instrument and take out and then throw both. So Karma Yoga is like that. At one point of time, at the highest point of knowledge, Karma will definitely go away. But before that, see what happens in Karma Yoga, if you do with great intensity and with that absolute feeling of unselfishness, the mind which is scattered in thousand directions, it all gets completely concentrated in a particular direction. Supposing you are serving somewhere. So day and night if you think of that, what happens, the restlessness of the mind will all be concentrated on a single item, single entity. Then that means what the mind, once that is removed, then the mind becomes absolutely calm, absolutely fit for the reflection of the highest. So Karma Yoga, Swamiji never said is the goal of life. Karma Yoga is the means, means to reach the highest. Only thing is Swamiji did not say that at one point of time you have to completely give up karma. That he did not say for obvious reasons, but at, that it will drop off by itself. You cannot give it up voluntarily. It can drop off by itself when you are really fit for the highest kind of knowledge. Us samay, aap se karam chud jai, aap se. It will not stay at that time. But till then one has to work very uh, seriously with great intent and uh, purpose so that the mind becomes pure. Otherwise, even if you spend time, you will be spending time but uh, Effectively, it won't amount to anything. It's not, see, qualitatively how you do it. Even japa, meditation, everything. What is the quality of your japa, your meditation? For that, you need a mind which is uh, prepared like that. <coughs> yeah, you, next. Ah. Uh, Maharaj, I have two questions. The first one is, um, who are holy men or how do we identify holy men? And the second question is, how do we practice discrimination? See, see, who are holy men? Really, you know, holy men are those in, hu in whose presence you feel like calling on God, who remind you of the impermanence of the world, who remind you of God, who remind you of a higher purpose of life, who give you some indication, some direction. In their company, you feel that kind of an elevation, like pursuing the higher aspects of life. So they are really the holy men, obviously. And discrimination is to be practiced. Everything, you know, anything that you start in life is always, in fact, we do practice discrimination. When you go and buy, a, buy something from the shop, don't you discriminate what is good, what is bad, which is to be taken, which is to be rejected. So extend it. Our other activities also. Supposing I am going in this company, I am going for this function, I am going for this, I am participating, I am trying to go here and do that. So, you know, there what happens, there the discrimination is to find out whether I really get my money's worth while buying that article. There we are. Here, the discrimination is what I am doing, is it really aligned to my ultimate goal? Supposing you have a goal, you have a purpose of life, you have... Uh, thought about that, you are working on that, then is this activity which I am taking, is it aligned to that? Am I that way? Then you obviously, that's how one can make a beginning and slowly yeah, uh, Vilasha then I come to you. Yes. Yeah, that's also possible. See, if one has that kind of an intense faith, then probably one would not feel the need to question anything. And that kind of an intense faith will lead to a sense of absolute surrender to God. 
then one has to be very very careful and very because quite often as long as things go all right it's okay kuch gadbad ho us samay kya to try ga that's the test the real test comes when things go wrong when things are okay we can, we all sing pns of god and this and that bhog chadate hain aarti utarte hain sab theek hai but when things go wrong do we really believe ha सचमुच ये भी भगवान की देह है मेरा कुछ कल्याण के लिए ऐसी भगवान व्यवस्था किया ऐसे कैन बी इनफैक्ट यू नो दैट इज द मोस्ट प्रेगमेटिक अप्रोच इट्स नॉट दैट वी आर डूइंग एनी फेवर टू गॉड बाय बीइंग लाइक दैट एनी अदर अप्रोच इज डिजास्ट्रस हम लोग क्या करते हैं इधर भागते हैं उधर भागते हैं इधर दौड़ते हैं वी आर इन कन्फ्यूजन वी आर इन डिप्रेशन वी लूज अवर हेल्थ वी लूज अवर पीस ऑफ माइंड वी लूज स्लीप एवरीथिंग but supposing you develop an attitude whatever happens is god sense is uh, talk a very beautiful analogy it will come later somewhere a very famous ramericha ram ji ki icha eh yeah, there was a weaver wo hamesha ram ji ke naam leta tha sab bolta tha ramericha so sab dukaan mein se baat aate the sab customers se puchte hain ise kya bhav hai ramer icha se में से दो रुपया में खरीदा इसमें रामेरिचा से दो रुपया मेरा मेहनत की है और रामेरिचा से मेरा दो रुपया प्रॉफिट है रामेरिचा से छः रुपया इसका तुरंत पैसे देके चले जाते कोई उसके कुछ पूछते भी नहीं वो जानते थे इतना सज्जन आदमी है कभी कुछ नहीं झूठ नहीं बोलता है वो ठीक है वो तो सब बोल देता मेरा इतना मेहनत ही इतना प्रॉफिट ये इसकी रेट है दिल बाई सो so, एक रात उस दिन बहुत ही गर्म के दिन वो बाहर बैठा था सिलिंग इन आउट साइड इज हाउस सो एक दल डाकू कहाँ से बहुत ही चोरी फोरी लूट करके आ रहे थे इतना चीज ले आया उसका को एक कुली की जरूरत पड़ा इतना बोझ था सो so, इतना बटा रहे आ जाओ करके उसके कंधे पे चढ़ दिया ठीक है वो तो वो तो कुछ नहीं होगा चलो जैसे अब अचानक पुलिस चरित्र आया उन लोग सब भाग गए जो चोरी चीज के साथ इसका पकड़ाया उसको ले गया जेल में डाल दिया वो कुछ भी और डायरेक्ट जेल में है अगले दिन कोर्ट में उसका विचार हो रहा है हुजूर बुलाया सारा गांव के लोग आ गए हुजूर वो बहुत सज्जन आदमी हुजूर वो तो चोरी नहीं कर सकता है उसका छोड़ दीजिए सारा सब बुक चिल्ला रहे हैं बोला क्या हुए बताइए आप बोला रामेरी चसे में खूब गर्म लग रहा था इसलिए बाहर बैठे थे रामेरी चसे एक दल डाकू आया सब चोरी चीज खंदे पे रखा रामेरिचे में चल रहा था अचानक रामेरिचा से पुलिस आया रामेरिचा से उन लोग भागे रामेरिचा से मेरे पकड़ाया राम मेरे जेल में डाला रामेरिचा आपके सामने में हूँ बोला नहीं नहीं आप जाइए रामेरिचा से मैं मुक्त होके जा रहा हूँ बोला ना हुजूर आपका चढ़वाया रामेरिचा से मैं मुक्त होके जा रहा हूँ so you know if if you only of course it's very difficult because when any adversity comes we completely lose our sense of proportion our ability to understand ability to discriminate more the problem more is our uh, 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 cure and weird way of functioning but you know supposing you know if you have like that no even just imagine you think of it whatever happens lots will then you know you are absolutely a huge load is taken off your shoulders bahar ki drishti mein jagatik drishti mein wah kuch bura ho sakta hai kuch nuksan ho gaya koi guzar gaya koi paisa ye ho gaya but you know you know it is something that has happened there is something which you cannot write back something you cannot undo what is the best attitude ठीक है भगवान की इच्छा से हुआ वो चाहते हैं तो फिर दे देंगे और दूसरी तरफ कुछ हो जाए सो यू नो दैट इज द मोस्ट प्रैक्टिकल अप्रोच डिपेंडिंग ऑन गॉड इज नॉट गॉड की हम लोग कोई फेवर नहीं करते हैं दैट इज द मोस्ट सेंसिबल अप्रोच ह्यूमन बीइंग कैन हैव बट वी डोंट डू दैट इधर उधर दौड़ते हैं सलाह लेते हैं इसका कैसे करके इसको ये कर दो वी ट्राई बट सो एस यू सेड वन रियली फील दैट वे बिकॉज चिद्यंते सर्व संशय एट द टाइम देर ओन बे नी संशय मन में स्वाभाविक रूप से मन जो भी है भगवान के चरणों में मेरा क्या पूछना क्या क्या फायदा है मैं क्या करूँ ये बुद्धि से कितना समझ पाऊँ 
That's also an attitude. One can practice no harm. आपका मन लगता है नहीं लगता है आप घड़ी की काटा की तरह करते रहो नियमित रूप से कभी भी मत छोड़ना एक दिन भी मत छोड़ करते रहो यू हैव टू डू इट एवरी डे विदाउट ब्रेक लाइक द हैंड्स ऑफ ए क्लॉक हैंड्स ऑफ क्लॉक बंद होने में तो फेंकना है उसके तार कुछ यूज नहीं है दे ना एज लॉन्ग द क्लॉक इज यूजफुल ओनली इफ द हैंड्स कीप मूविंग अदरवाइज यू हैव टू थ्रो इट सेम वे शी सेज यू कीप ऑन डूइंग इट वेदर यू यूर माइंड लाइक सीट आर नॉट यू फील लाइक नॉट फील लाइक because if you the, usually what happens if you relax the next day again will happen then third day she herself says of all people see me to har roz i think around 3 or 3 3 o'clock or so she used to get up again kisi bimari ki wajah se me uth nahi paya then continuously for several days i could not get up mother says then me aise roka nahi then again it started so habits posing you form a habit उसी से धीरे 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 द क्वालिटी इज ऑल्सो बाउंड टू इम्प्रूव बट देन ऑफकोर्स सेमल्टीन्यूसली यू ऑर्गेनाइज हर सेल्व द अदर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ अवर लाइफ देन इट कैन डेफिनेटली but in the waking world we don't feel this is a actual projection because what like mountain or building what i see everybody else is seeing then how can it be my projection of mine this concept is not clear see um, because you know because we are so much rooted in the idea of a body and mind this looks so real to us now in the in the dream so many things are projected suddenly you are you are sleeping here suddenly you are in, in america with your son or daughter you are going to a park you are taking ice cream or seeing a movie so the the mind never argues how is it possible you are lying here how can you go to america so in dream it's absolutely real during the dream for the dream personality so when you wake up then when you understand it's a whole dream so like that we are in a conditioned state right now isliye hum log ka itna pata nahi chalta but when that knowledge dawns when you really awaken to your true nature and everything would require absolutely that would be unreal or meaningless so iske kya batate hain see because you know supposing you are in dream now what has happened to all the things in your waking world where are they they are gone in deep sleep where is your house where is your property where is your husband where are you everything is gone so definitely they have an elements of impermanence otherwise why should they go they should always be there even while you are dreaming your husband should be standing by the side and oh this dream you are having you should be dictating so that shows there is an element of impermanence in that only thing is everything is relative to the relative world is a relative reality when you awaken to that complete consciousness then this would completely go away from your you won't recognize that way see that we should also understand people who have realized the highest truth like brahma gyani shrik thakur or even ramana maharshi For them, you know, when they see food, they were not seeing it as food. They only no. 
the food they used to take they saw but they never used to be attached they never used to <coughs> bother because they knew that there is something which is lasting in and through all that that idea of the ultimate reality consciousness and the absolute unreality or impermanence all that would always shine forth for them they were never in doubt moreover i am saying see supposing now we are all sitting here and seeing this mountain so now we are asked to completely after 5 10 minutes now we should we have to close our eyes and speak about what we saw will everyone say the same thing no if it is absolutely true all should speak the same thing why each person is saying differently so the way our senses recognize that we think supposing you have one more pair of eyes maybe you look at the mountains very differently is it not so all these are all with respect to our perceptions of our indriyas whatever our indriyas bring us by way of experience that we consider so that's why the same person supposing your eye sight gets dim then you look at it differently so not only that no, apart from that the same thing supposing you know supposing you, you like something uh, some sweet your very favorite dish you always take twice thrice whenever it is prepared so it is prepared and kept before you right 5 minutes before you had heard something very tragic that would look like mud you would feel like vomiting would you like to take it just 5 minutes ago you had heard one of your dearest friend had passed away will you be taking that it's your most favorite sweet but this looks like poison or something like vomiting right in front of you so you know our own perceptions our own recognition etc also keep changing according to the state of mind state of other things so obviously they are not eternal by themselves that is very very clear so the small the the, the real difficulties you know when in uh, classical advaita when they extend it further they say that anitya is same as mithya there we find it more difficult uh, anitya we can anybody can easily understand and appreciate definitely they are not for you know, the the place before we are building is all beautiful full mountains only now we have broken and made all this so what was there is not there now so anityata is okay but from there they say what they say is just as what you see in dream when you wake up is completely not there is world also it's all projection out of that consciousness only awareness only and once you recognize that then all that would simply go away and uh, it's uh, it's not even necessary for us to take it like that is enough if we accept that is absolutely not worth aspiring for or pursuing in a serious way because this is absolutely irrelevant and meaningless so can we deduce that um, huh? is it is it will it be okay to deduce that since brahman is also known as atindriya hence whatever we can perceive through our indriyas is the impermanent and brahman is perfect yeah that is how it is because all that we get our experience through our indriyas only na so if it is beyond that when you go beyond that to the transcendental realm you get the grasp of the ultimate reality which is not conditioned by the senses so uh, swami ji one question in the waking state that means uh, when the conscious whatever is projecting like uh, the mountains even the people so is it like uh, i mean is it uh, how should i put it Uh, is it part of the same uh, person who is experiencing that uh, particular thing hmm is part of the same person <laughs> person like uh, atman uh, how should i it's our projection projection yes yes ah uh-huh. it's our mind's projection our mind uh-huh. subjective projection like yes see that's why you know see even the anything that you see in this world also if it is if it has any absolute existence by itself 
then that should not that should be same for everybody na supposing you know uh, uh, see everything we describe according to our knowledge you na know, our senses to you this may be projecting as an electrical instrument a person who has never seen a mic can say it's a danda ka sakte hain ek kaale rang ka danda so you know whatever even uh, even people of the same quality same qualification also in a particular place they don't say it the same way so it's very clear that there is nothing intrinsically stable or permanent in whatever we experience even in the waking world only thing is to what extent we can carry forward this anityata that is the real test the more you practice that the more you will be free from sorrow suffering everything anything any trouble any difficulty yes is there what is there it will go away even if it doesn't go so what so then you understand everything becomes uh, easy in life at that time anything happen you accept it theek hai ye sab to nitya jagat mein hota hi hai chale jayega ye bhi nahi rahega kya hai then you are comfortable one second jaise abhi jaba ki baat hui ki aap dono cheezon सोच लेते हैं हमें इतना नंबर जप करना है तीन लाख तो पूरा दिन लगे हैं जप कर रहे हैं ठीक है किसी सबसे तो नहीं हो सकता किसी से हो सकता है उसके बदले में दूसरा सोच रहा है कि मैं पूरा टाइम तो भगवान के लिए ही दूंगा कभी जप करूंगा चार घंटे कभी किताब पढ़ूंगा कभी लेक्चर सुनूंगा और कभी उनको याद करूँगा तो हमारा दोनों में से क्या बेटर है एक ही चीज़ के पीछे पढ़ना या ना इसी द पॉइंट इज जैसे ही हम लोग का पहले तो एक साथ मन की एकाग्रता नहीं रहता है सो इवन इफ यू सेट प्रॉब्ली यू विल बी सेटिंग यू मे नॉट बी फोकस्ड ऑन गॉड सो दैट्स वाई इनिशियली एटलीस्ट इट्स ऑलवेज गुड टू हैव अ वेराइटी लेकिन मन मेरा भगवान की चरणों में ही है मैं कभी जब करता हूँ कभी भजन करता हूँ भजन सुनता हूँ बाहर लेक्चर सुनता हूँ दैट्स दैट्स अ गुड प्रैक्टिस बट एक्चुअली इफ यू रियली गो डीपर एस यू एडवांस दिन आपका सिर्फ नाम लेने में बहुत ही मन खुद ही लग जाएगा सी एनी थिंग दैट इज हैपन्स वेरी स्पॉन्टेनियसली जस्ट जस्ट दी जस्ट लाइक द फ्लो दिन एट द टाइम आपका समय के ज्ञान ही नहीं रहेगा then you will not calculate ha four hours me karunga for nahi ha baithenge to baith gaya to bas then simply you are lost to the world that aapki samay seema par ho jayega us samay mein obviously japan dhyana will take precedence <coughs> ki aap jab tak dekho bahar ka sahayata leke hum log karte hain definitely that is one step lower because there is again uh, indriyas relative thing somebody singing somebody lecturing and all that obviously the attention cannot be 100% on god kon bol raha hai kaise bol raha hai kya shabd chayan kiya all that will come into focus gana sunte bhi acha gana bura gana iska kya hai shabd kiya kya arth hai are uski um, raag tik nahi hai sur tik nahi hai taal tik nahi hai but see the point is ultimately you know as we go forward in uh, spiritual life completely no other intervention see when you do intensely japa or dhyana is even further advance where not even the help of a name you are taking that is definitely a more advanced stage but it will uska sami lagega so that means what more and more if you cut out then wherever you are you will be doing japa सपोजिंग यू गो समेर उसकी पूरा ऑर्गेनाइज करना है लेक्चर्स का गाना का इसका तो संभव नहीं होगा दैन क्या करोगे वहाँ सो कम्प्लीटली डिपेंडिंग अपॉन माई ओन माइंड वही डेफिनेटली इज मच बेटर बट इसके लिए ऐसी तैयारी प्रिपरेशन की जरूरत है देन एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इवन जपाल सो गोज ओनली दट ध्यान इसमें इतना डूब जाएंगे बस that is so even a, then of course that finally leads to even higher experiences like samadhi etc yeah there is in the scientific literature they talk about the like states of mind jagrit sapna and sutti awakening 
dream and sleep are the reflected states of inner consciousness only. And Jor se bolo, huh? The states of Jagrit, ah. uh, Shushukti and Sukhna, awakening, uh, yeah. awakening, sleep and dream are the reflected states of inner consciousness only, right? So what's the corollary of the same as per the Vedanta and the philosophical ideas? Vedanta and? And the philosophical ideas. Is there any uh, uh, collaboration or like correlation or corollary of the same? Between what? Between Jagrat, Sapna, Shruti, Dusra kya hai? No, these three states are the reflected states of the inner consciousness. Inner? Consciousness. consciousness. Ah. These three states. So like what is the corollary of the same? Is there any corollary of the same? The no, no, no. You see, the consciousness is always consciousness, constant. It doesn't undergo any change. The, all these are all revealed. The Jagrat, Sapna, Shushruti, all experiences are revealed only in the consciousness. Right. Consciousness is one ultimate idea, entity, whatever you call it. That is there, that is only there. All these are all revealed in that consciousness. Just as your waking state also, your dream also, your Shushruti also, ultimately that is the only thing that, that's why it is Jagrat, Sapna, Shushruti, then it's called Turiya or the fourth, where, but Turiya is not another state like Sushupti. Turiya is always there. In Turiya, in consciousness, all these are all revealed as experiences to the Jivatma. They say that they are the reflections of the same, like Turiya ka reflections, Tur three. Ne, Turiya ka, you can, you can say the same Turiya in Jagrat, we see as this existential world, because without that, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even know that there is a consciousness. The consciousness or the awareness, because of this existential world, we know that it is revealed in that consciousness. Similarly, in the sleep also, it is that which is revealing, because when you get up, you say, I slept very well, I slept deeply, I was very happy. So, all this awareness that persists forever in an unbroken way, that is behind everything as a sakshi or a witness. And all these are all revealed to that witness, all these states. So, can I? Yes. Sir, in continuing with the question of uh, Mukesh, uh, so when we are in deep meditation, what we are experiencing, the Turiya was the oh. these uh, deep sleep. See, Meditation, as we all do, is also a practice only. It's only just more the quietening of the mind. That's all. Turiya is something <coughs> even beyond that. In that, that awareness... See, I'm only explaining what I've heard. I have not experienced. But there, you know, that awareness is something which persists always, all the time, once it happens. So, what we do through all these practices is, Supposing you quieten your mind, quieten your mind, quieten mind through meditation, 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 ultimately it's possible even to go beyond that and then reach the state of complete awareness where there is only awareness and nothing else. What happens? Who experiences that awareness? That question does not arise because there is no second entity. It is not said, no, I will experience Turiya. That, 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 that statement is false. I don't experience Turiya. Turiya is always there as witness. So to that all these are revealed. So when, when that ultimate awareness happens, then to such a person, all this world, everything would appear very differently. You will always recognize constantly that awareness will be there, that I am that Chaitanya, I am that infinite, I am that witness. All these are all appearing like fil on a, a scenes on a, a film or a screen or something like that. So, not that you will not recognize a pen or a mic or something like that, but you would know that all these are all only appearances in that apparentness. That consciousness, that will be very clear and uh, um, unmistakable to such a person. So, meditation is far below that. Meditation, what we are trying to do is, because for one, for 
once that uh, that awareness to happen obviously unless there is a complete quietening of the mind quietening of the vrittis etc we are not even prepared for that so then at a, when that it happens for a long time supposing you know there is no vrittis in the mind for then at the time finally that goes as a samadhi there that complete awareness is only there and then once you come down then it it stays it's not something that would go away with that so then always that inwardly that awareness is retained but then you move about in the world fully aware that these are all only reflections of that ultimate consciousness Something like that. You can very. It's a very gross analogy, but something like that. That is unaffected. It's always there, constant. Today love story, tomorrow war story, third day some other story. But that's there always. Yeah. Um, Sanjeev, uh, what is the importance of simplicity in sadhana? Like, is it mandatory to use physical techniques like breathing, etc.? Because uh, I was. Uh, I went through the gospel just once. I haven't read it multiple times, so I cannot say that I have got the gist of it. But at the end of part one, Swamiji himself tells that tantra and other techniques are not so pure and pious, and we should adhere to the simplicity of. Yeah. See, the point is, you know, there are see all that would require expert. guru guidance constantly by your side otherwise the abhyas etc can even lead to death a total derangement of mind etc whereas bhakti is absolutely simple whichever way you do it won't harm you absolutely no question of getting harmed at all maybe you may become little more emotional if at all you say that may be otherwise nothing it's absolutely safe path for anybody any beginner because we don't know If you get an extremely expert guru, then some of these techniques like yoga and the shat chakras and all those things, they all can be attempted. But that person should be a realized soul, should be by your side constantly. Otherwise, it can go totally wrong. So, um, adding up to it, why uh, we nowadays I've seen because you know which profession do. So when people come to ask for remedies. If we uh, give them a simple remedy, like just naam japa, because japa to sit them, you know, they do not, uh, you know, accept it easily. Yeah. The simplicity makes them wary that it might not work. And yeah. See, like, that cannot be helped. That cannot be helped because you see, <coughs> in this world, people are uh, because we are so used to gross way of functioning. You know. so subtle ways will not people will not accept at all so what i would suggest you know a practical hint you always suggest some things like aapke ye ye ke karna hai ye karna hai karna hai iske sath aap asal cheez alag se bata do aapka roz 4000 ijab karna hai ye bhi karna hai lekin aap ye yagya ye bhi sab mila ke de do then they'll be happy unka kuch parihar bhi aap bata diya अब उसके साथ असल चीज भी दे दिया वो सिंपली से ना आपको कुछ नहीं करना है सिर्फ जब करो दे विल नॉट डू अरे वो नहीं जानता है और दूसरी ज्योतिष के पास जाओ एंड यू लूज वन कस्टमर इसके पकड़ के रखो पकड़ के रखो पकड़ के रखो चार्ज करो लेकिन कुछ कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वे में बताओ वो समझ लेगा आपका देखो यही यज्ञ करना है इसमें यही लगेगा वही लगेगा इतना किलो घी लगेगा ये लगेगा सब कुछ लगेगा देन आप बोलो इसके साथ लेकिन ये यज्ञ सक्सेस होने के लिए हर रोज आपकी चार हजार राम नाम करना है दिन वो एकदम फंस जाएगा पूरा <laughs> है आपका भी काम हो गया ये भी असल चीज भी हो गया बिकॉज सिंपली इज इवन ठाकुर डिसाइपल वॉट टू स्पीक ऑफ अदर्स योगीन वो लेटर ऑन बिकेम स्वामी योगानंद होम श्री रामकृष्ण ऑलवेज यूज टू कंसिडर वन ऑफ द ईश्वर कोटिस लाइक नित्य सिद्धास सो He told him. He once said that I am very much bothered by calm, bhav. Then he said, "Arey, kuch nahi. Aap tali baja ke Bhagwan ke naam lena. Jaise tali baja, jaise pakshi sab urjaate hai na, isab bhav urjaega. 
अरे वो जानता नहीं है इसीलिए ऐसे कुछ बोल देता है होता है क्या ऐसा क्या होता है पर जैसे नहीं करके देखो तो किया ही फेल्ट अफकोर्स एन श्री रामकृष्ण सेस ही इज नॉट जस्ट सींग ही वुड इंश्योर इट हैपन्स दैट मे नॉट हैपन इन द केस ऑफ अदर्स बट वॉट आई से जनरली पीपल डोंट लाइक सिंपल सोल्यूशंस दे ऑलवेज लाइक कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सो आप देख लो तुमको प्रोफेशनली जितना करना है लेकिन आपका जो सच बताना वो बता दो उसके साथ जो मिला के देना वो दे दो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लाइक अदरवाइज यू डोंट केयर लेट दम गो आई ओनली से द सिंपल थिंग इट्स ऑल्सो पॉसिबल इट्स ऑल अप टू चॉइस इज यूर्स क्योंकि आपको तो धंधा भी तो चलाना है ऐसा hmm? देख यू कैन सी आफ्टर ऑल इसमें क्या होता है ये यज्ञ प्रज्ञ में दैट ऑल्सो यू सजेस्ट ए जेन्यून वन ऑल दो दे ऑल हैव देर ओन लिटल इफेक्ट नो डाउट सी उसमें कि बहुत कुछ हुआ है उसके करने के लिए उनका मेहनत करना पड़ता है उसका यस टू सेट यस टू डू दैट विथ सम डिवोशन एंड कुछ ब्राह्मण का कुछ भोजन बो, करवाएंगे कुछ सो देर आर सामाजिक स्तर पर उस तो कुछ व्यवहारिक तो यूज़ है उसके साथ आप जो असल चीज़ भी बता दो वो होगा प्रोवाइडेड यू डू दिस नहीं तो नहीं होगा समझ लो यस people like me ordinary people only japa can give me success yes yes ma bo are aap kya bol rahe ma to bata diya japa siddhi jap karo bas aur kuch nahi to kuch nahi aata hai to jap bas wahi hai jap aata hai to bas khatam sharat ha maharaj for example let's say jai shri ram right what is the pace at which we should do jap Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, slowly. Or is no, actually, slowly you know, see, so that you know the the uchcharan is correct and clear. Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram. Then half of the words are written. No, that cannot be. So that you know, every every word is clear. Or jitne apke fast bhi kar sakte ho, karte karte abhyas ho gaya. But then if all the uh, letters and the syllable, the mantra, the beads, etc., are clear. extension to that question so the initiation mantra is the mantra for life or does anything happen later no no that's one and only thing initiation is final bas there's no second thing after that thank you sir <coughs> aapne kaha ki lot of karma yoga quality of meditation cha you know they help uh, in uh, clearing out the impurities okay um <coughs> दिस इज लाइक ठीक है अब अगर हम पतंजलि योग सूत्र कर देखते हैं तो उसमें आसनास और प्राणायाम का भी महत्व दिया mm. और वहाँ पर तो टॉपिक ही वृत्तीस पर काफ़ी चलता है सो हाउ दो नो नो सी नहीं नहीं आप तो पतंजलि का ठीक से नहीं पढ़ा आसन के पहले क्या है यम नियम वो करो तो जीवन खत्म हो जाएगा उसके अंदर सब कुछ है यम नियम के अंदर सब कुछ है इंक्लूडिंग कर्मयोग स्वामी जी हम सब इतना आधार इतना ये नहीं है मजबूत नहीं करके थोड़ा सहज करके बोला बट एक्चुअली इफ यू गो दैट पाथ इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट ना सत्य अस्थय ब्रह्मचर्य अपरिग्रह ऑल दैट एंड देन देन सोच संतोष स्वाध्याय देन ईश्वर प्रणिधान वॉट एवरीथिंग इज देर यमा नियम इज वेरी वेरी टफ ओके ठीक है सो यम नियम ऑल राइट हाँ उनको प्रैक्टिस करते हैं तो वो अपने आप में पूरा पी एच डी बनता है टेस्ट होता है आई नो अब फिर आता है आपका जब मेडिटेशन अब बीच में जो आसन और प्राणायाम आसन सी देर आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सी Asana is so important because आप ठीक से नहीं बैठने में आप ठीक से जप नहीं कर पाएंगे जैसे वैसे हिला के करने कैसे होगा चीज ऑलवेज इज ए आसना मीन्स द पॉस्चर सो देर इज इधर पद्मासना और सुखासना इन सच ए वे दैट यू आर कम्फर्टेबल यू कैन सीट फॉर लॉन्ग आवर्स दैट इज वन थिंग नॉट ओनली दैट शुड से स्ट्रेट बिकॉज दे से दैट एवरी थिंग इज ड्यू टू द फ्लो ऑफ प्राणा सो दैट इडा पिंगला एंड सुषुमना इडा सुषुमना एंड पिंगला सो फॉर ऑल दैट टू फैसिलिटेट 
you have to sit like that. So it's very important. Asana is very important. Then pranayam. Pranayam, actually, pranayam, if uh, pursued very effectively, if through a very expert guide, that can lead very quickly to the quieting of the mind, etc. So that's why normally what we advise are ordinary people, what they say, you regulate breathing. Regulated breathing. You know, up. Uh, पहले दाइना नाक बंद करके बाएं नाक से आप लिया आसपास फिर उसका बंद करके दाइने से छोड़ा फिर दाइने से लिया बाएं से छोड़ा ऑल्टरनेटिवली लाइक दैट इफ यू प्रैक्टिस यू विल फाइंड दैट डेफिनेटली देर से क्वाइट एनी बिकॉज नो इट इज वेरी मच आवर माइंड इज वेरी मच कनेक्टेड टू दिस ब्रेथ कभी आप देखा ना कभी यू आर इन समथिंग इज वेरी मच बॉदरिंग इन योर Suddenly you take a deep breath, then suddenly you feel lightened. So it's all connected to breath. Asana, pranayama, definitely they are very much part of sadhana, no doubt. So amloka is kya hai? You can also extend it. Supposing you have a fixed place, same place, jahan baithte hain, same time, all that come under asana only. Then you know that very place, that very asana will remind you. Of that ideal, the practice, the sadhana, so like that way it all goes like that. अच्छा सर जब जब हम कर रहे हैं, but let's say कि कई बारी जब मेरे mind नहीं है इधर उधर बहुत है, कुछ दो तीन points you know so that कुछ तो concentration ठीक से लग जाए, जब कभी जब ना इसलिए देखो everything you know see पहले तो इसलिए you know जपा ऑल्सो पीपल क्या करते हैं स्नान फान कर लिया अभी ऑफिस जाना है उसके पहले पाँच मिनट बैठ गए दैट वे इट डजन हैपन सी टू डू जपा देर आर प्रिलिमिनरीज नो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू मस्ट प्रिपेयर योर सेल्फ फिजिकली मेंटली देन यूर आसना देन कुछ धूप जलाना दिया जलाना विथ ऑल डेट स्लोली यू आर क्रिएटिंग द मूड फॉर जपा जब स्ट्रेट अवे इफ यू डाइव इन टू जपा इट वोट गो एनी वेयर आप पहले उसकी तैयारी किया ऐसे एम्बियंस क्रिएट किया ऐसे अब जागा है इसके फिक्स जागा है वही जगह पे जाते ही आपका मन थोड़ा एकाग्र होता है देन यू लाइट अ स्मॉल लैम्प स्मॉल धूप और समथिंग देन विथ अ क्लीन क्लोथ्स एक्सेट्रा यू सेट देन मदर यूशली सेज वेन यू सेट फर्स्ट यू इमेजिन वॉट वॉज द स्टेट ऑफ योर माइंड प्रीवियस डे पिछले दिन कैसा था अभी मेरा क्या है मन का स्थिति ये सब विचार की बात करते हैं That's one thing, and you do a little this uh, breath control exercise. That is one thing, that will help a little. And probably she was asking. Of course, we are going into that. See, one more thing. Uh, sometimes we suggest is you know what happens when we sit, the mind wanders everywhere. So, if you sit, you can do this also. Just make yourself a witness. को तो एक साक्षी बना के मन जहाँ भी जाना चाहते हैं जाने दो लेट इट डू वेर एवर इट वॉन्ट्स लेट इट गो रोको मत उसका वॉट वी डू इज बाई ट्राइंग टू कंट्रोल द माइंड वी ट्राई टू अरेस्ट एंड देन इट एक्सकेप्स इट गोज टू सम अदर प्लेस दिस एंड दैट सो फॉर सम टाइम यू नो दीज टू एक्सरसाइज ट्राइंग टू कंट्रोल द ब्रेथ फॉर अबाउट टेन मिनट्स और सो एंड देन अबाउट टेन और फिफ्टीन मिनट्स टू सिट क्वाइटली एंड कीप मेक वन सेल्फ ए साक्षी and allow the mind to do whatever it wants then every day if you do it after some months you will find that the mind is no longer uh, capable of wandering so much it will quietly settle down a little and then you start your japa and then while starting also see quite often you know we just uh, if there is no one around and it's a quiet place we can do japa with open eyes कोई टॉपन आप आग बंद करने में हो तो नींद आ जाती है नहीं तो क्लोजिंग द आईज गिव्स अ ह्यूज स्पेस फॉर फ्री वॉन्डरिंग वेर एस यू नो इफ यू हैव योर देवता इस्टर्स फोटो इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सो यू विथ ओपन आईज इफ यू डू यू बी एबल टू डू मच बेटर एंड ऑल्सो इवन बिफोर दैट महापुरुष महाराज स्वामी शिवानंद जी ऑलवेज यूज टू एम्फोसाइज सो मच एंड प्रेयर Thakur also. Thakur's most powerful instrument was prayer. 
So pray deeply. See, when, when you pray, the mind will not run around. The mind, prayer is definitely focused. You cannot pray and think of anything else. When you pray, you think only of God. So when you, with a lot of prayer, then you start and the japa will be even more focused and effective maybe. Ho gaya sabko? Kisi ko prashna baki nahi na? Ho gaya sab? Oh, Ashit. Ashitosh. Ah. Thank you Maharaj. I want to go back to the question that uh, Madam asked. Uh, which is real, uh, related to reality and unreality, real and unreal. Um, but as I will from the examples that she gave, that you know, everybody is here is seeing the same mountain. And if I can add to it is, everybody in this room are seeing the same people, same things, everything is same. So I think at least in this example, there is no subjectivity. For everybody it is the same, right? Uh, so I was wondering whether the problem is at concept level or is it at the use of terminology. When we say real, in English everybody has a sense that real means uh, it exists, unreal means it does not exist. So when you explained, uh, when you responded, you focused on the permanence and the impermanence of the object. Yeah, that is, that is more easily understood, you know. That's what we understand more clearly, but the, the, the traditional way of Vedantic thinking is the, the awareness alone has created all this. No? If this awareness were not to be there, nothing will be visible. See, even for, you know, why I'm saying this at all like that? Supposing, you know, even someone is right in front of you, you are so deeply absorbed, then for 10 minutes you don't see that person, your eyes are open because you say your mind is not there. So you know there are levels of awareness, even mind only at certain points it recognizes. So what is that which observes the mind? When you say my mind, there is something even beyond that. So finally that ultimate awareness is what makes all this happen, all this whatever we see etc etc. So that is the idea. See actually you know, the ultimate unreality or mithyatva or the non-existence is much, much more difficult to recognize. For that you need to do more sadhana. So even if you understand it is impermanent, that is enough for your sadhana. For where we are right now, we need, what does it, what does it make a difference? For us, if you understand that, see the idea is to go away from these uh, pursuits of the world, from bhoga, and all that, to seek something real, permanent. For that, even this understanding is quite sufficient. Then, when you have, when you are deep into sadhana, definitely that, that would be there, that it is not there at all. Because, definitely that mithyatva is because, you see, this is there only when I am awake, no? See, all this world, you have come all the way from, from Africa to participate, being here, everything goes in a trice in sleep. Then where were all these? They were not there. So obviously, you can never prove that they were existing always. Something which is not existing always is not there at all. So that is the logic they use. So this has a, this has certain utility application in certain level. But that much only. So we need not bother beyond that about this. I think, sir, uh, you know, everybody is struggling with this. Uh, so I, let me give you another example. Everybody, uh, in their collective experience, not just individual experience, most people face real problems in whether in their uh, at their workplace or in society, outside, inside, and everywhere. You know, so that gives everybody an impression that these are real life problems or real life challenges. So if we say that it is unreal, it becomes difficult for rational people to accept. No, no, you see the point is, so, you know, the, so the... the problem, is it the problem, is the problem with the word or is the problem no, no, with no. the concept that we No, are no, no, anything, see whatever, whatever, see we are only, again you are dabbling in words only, saying concept and word there again you are trying to solve it through words, it won't get solved. See, the absolute, the world does not exist cannot be experienced by you and me. For that one has to devote years of intense sadhana 
if everything is just understandable just by mere words but explanation then there is no need for sadhana everybody will be a brahma gyani this much only we can understand from our experience all these are all impermanent anitya that we can clearly understand problems also today with somebody you are fighting tomorrow your friendship obviously it is impermanent so anything any existential problem difficulty etc can all come under the category of anitya or impermanent that much is only possible at a level of sadhana only when you are deep into sadhana for years of advanced level then only the complete mithyatva just to understand these some of these arguments the explanations how they approach it from the point of vedanta all that we can uh, to some extent we can read and try to no but that will not get transformed into an experience just by hearing merely hearing one lecture or one explanation it's not possible to penetrate that deep it's not possible at all swamiji can i try to explain this as my understanding yeah yeah when you go to uh, uh, madam to set and from a distance you see uh, a sculpture you find it to be extremely real uh let's say we see a sculpture of clinton and we find that he standing there and then some you feel that it's absolutely real when you go closer to it then the knowledge dawns on you that it is not real it is not bill clinton it's just a statue no gajendra is saying no his problem is different see he says how do you say that that image is not there at all it is there as an image so, see your understanding was you thought it to be a real person instead it is a made of uh, mum or what is that uh, what is wax. wax that much but the classical advaita ultimately says the world does not exist at all that is their ultimate thing for that they are usually taking the jagrat swapna shushupti ji analogy where they say that if the world is real where is it in so in a deep sleep it's absolutely not there it's totally vanished but that however much you hear that will not get transformed into an experience just like that because the very nature of brahman is eto vacho nivartante aprapya manasa sa avang manasa gochar it is beyond mind beyond speech so how can you catch it through speech and uh, mind it's not possible so all these will give you an understanding good enough to do sadhana that much is possible not beyond that the sand dal immersive yeah <laughs> maharaj then why japa is taken to be a panacea for the worldly desires no you know it should be disassociated with the worldly desires no, no, because you know no, it does got nothing to do with worldly desires yeah, so japa. in which case you know the solution that some clients are being provided is to do japa to get worldly desire no no they are not saying worldly desires you see when people are suffering is mostly when they are suffering what is the way is not for to get something they are not saying that when they are suffering what is the way if we suggest you take the name of rama or krishna or hanuman ji or anything people are not easily convinced that in that context they were talk yeah they are pending karma yeah so we'll continue the afternoon शांति 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 हरि ओम तत्सत श्री राम कृष्णार्पण मस्त